Raise your hand if you've heard of blockchain. Okay, how about Bitcoin? Ah. Both have been generating a lot of buzz because of what many believe to be their potential to disrupt the world of banking, finance, and the way that everyday payments are conducted. At its core, blockchain is a type of distributed ledger. Rather than one central hub, such as a bank, that processes and clears transactions, with a distributed ledger, transactions are recorded publicly on one common ledger that is shared by all network participants. What makes it work is that the transactions are all chained together. Transactions only process if they match up with all the preceding transactions that led up to it. Imagine one giant spreadsheet that is shared among millions of users. One wrong cell entry won't even process if it doesn't agree with all of the formulas built into every other cell. Perhaps the most popular application of blockchain technology is the virtual currency, Bitcoin. The Bitcoin network of users utilize blockchain technology to process transactions. Rather than cash flowing through a bank, the payments are recorded digitally and instantaneously among all Bitcoin users. A virtual currency that operates on an open, transparent, and instantaneous network can promote financial access and inclusion. This could be huge for the hundreds of billions of dollars of remittances that go to developing countries. BitPesa is one example of a service that allows people in the UK to send money to countries in East Africa using Bitcoin. For companies and governments migrating to a Bitcoin system for payments, the distributed ledger, being an open network, would promote transparency, cutting down on possible corruption and graft costs. Countries with highly volatile currencies can use Bitcoin as a store of value. Think of rampant inflation in countries such as Venezuela or Zimbabwe, where citizens can transfer their wealth into a virtual currency, such as Bitcoin. To date, more than $1 billion has been invested into blockchain technologies, largely around Bitcoin. But financial services may be just the tip of the iceberg. The real disruptive force of blockchain technology is in the linkages, verification, and transparency of transactions that can be applied to virtually any asset. A popular example is with land titles. Utilizing blockchain technology for government land registries or cadastres could create near irrefutable records of title that can therefore leverage loan or long-term contracts. The government of Honduras, where nearly 60% of domestic land is undocumented, has been experimenting with blockchain technology to build a national land registry. Alibaba, China's e-commerce giant, made a huge splash recently by announcing that it will use blockchain technology to record charity payments and philanthropic donations made through its online payment system. A range of assets, goods, or commodities, in theory, can be registered into a blockchain system and be exchanged or transacted if the system verifies certain terms and conditions are met, such as proof of ownership or the market price at the time of sale. These are becoming known as so-called smart contracts, and they can change the way that companies manage their supply chains. Sounds great, right? Well, of course, there are several drawbacks. For one, blockchain and Bitcoin, for all of their hype, are still relatively nascent technologies. They're big question marks to many folks, even in the tech, finance, and development worlds. Civil society groups that promote public transparency, such as Publish What You Fund or Global Witness, admit that blockchain is still an unknown entity to them, and they're taking a wait and see approach before adopting it into their advocacy. Like anything new and disruptive, rapid uptake faces challenges of competing with legacy infrastructure and getting enough of even the most tech savvy people to accept it and understand and adopt its service. There are also uncertain regulatory issues that governments must sort out, particularly for virtual currencies that sidestep national currencies. Bottom line for blockchain, disruptive potential that can change the way business, development, and finance are conducted, Yes, large barriers to overcome related to cultural acceptance and uptake, infrastructure and government regulation, absolutely.